What's up guys, Sal here. So we're mere months away from the official announcement of Samsung's next big thing, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which will inherit the general design and features of the Galaxy Note series. We know a lot about the handset already, but today new information reveals that the Galaxy S22 Ultra is gonna top the chart when it comes to raw power. You see, a few days ago, MediaTek announced their new Dimensity 9000 chipset, which is a flagship chip based on a 4 nanometer process. MediaTek claims that it's the leading scorer in multi-core CPU performance, even beating the latest from Apple, the A15 Bionic on the iPhone 13. On Antutu, the Dimensity 9000 was able to cross the million mark for the very first time with a score of 1,007,396 points, which honestly is quite impressive. But Qualcomm managed to beat that with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, formerly known as Snapdragon 898, with a score of 1,035,000, which is about 2.6% higher than the latest from MediaTek, thus topping the chart when it comes to Antutu benchmarks. For comparison, the Galaxy S21 Ultra with Snapdragon 888 chip has an Antutu score in the range of 700 to 800,000, which means the Galaxy S22 Ultra will offer a very significant increase in performance in CPU but mainly in GPU and the scores goes in line with what Ice Universe suggested a few days ago that the chip performance in the Android camp will finally achieve a new breakthrough. The good news is that more markets will get the Snapdragon variant of the S22 this time, but Samsung is also expected to make a huge stride with the Exynos 2200 in collaboration with AMD. We don't have any new data to gauge how they're exactly doing, but they hired Jim Keller, who is a microprocessor engineer best known for his work at AMD, Tesla and Apple. His experience will certainly aid Samsung in improving his competitiveness in this market, which is something Samsung already heavily invested in doing. Now coming back to the Diamond City 9000, for the first time ever, Samsung is also going to use this chipset in one of their devices. Ice Universe didn't mention which device it could be, but they are among the first batch of manufacturers to feature this beast of a chipset. I'll keep you posted when I hear more about it. Moving on, Ice Universe Today has reiterated again that the Galaxy S22 Ultra would offer the same camera resolutions as its predecessor, but this time the company is using a new Sony sensor for the two telephoto cameras, including the periscope zoom camera. How much change this brings to the table is remains to be seen. And finally, here's some good news for the S21 Ultra users. Samsung is now adding Pro Mode support for the S21 Ultra's dedicated telephoto camera via a new expert RAW app. Right now on the S21, only the main and ultra wide lenses are supported by the Pro Mode in the default camera app. Any zoom you get here is all digital, which is a shame because the S21 Ultra boasts one of the greatest zoom lenses on the market today. So Samsung is fixing that with this new camera app. Best part about this is that you can capture images in 16-bit RAW format. The app is currently in beta and Samsung says it will launch a stable version very soon. Of course, do consider subscribing for all the latest S22 updates and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.